Well, we decided to do another Christmas gift, this time a puzzle, tray puzzle, using the, again, the full spectrum laser in the cutting mode. Uh, set it at 100% power, 100 speed of 100, using 1 8 inch thick uh, Baltic birch plywood. As you can see from the drawing that uh, I did, that uh, Grandma Moses would probably be proud of me. <laughs> it was pretty primitive looking. Uh, I was using a Word document to do the drawing and I uh, haven't figured out how to use Inkscape yet, but I'm working on that. And we may get Corel Draw and try that. But uh, anyway, this was a, a pretty feeble attempt at making a Christmas tree with a couple of candles on either side, a star at the top and a, a banner at the bottom. And uh, after this was cut out and I could do some sanding and uh, glue the back on it, uh, I was ready to turn it over to Jennifer to uh, do her thing. And I told her to please be kind and to do a lot of really nice artwork to make this horrible thing look nice. And here's what it looked like after we glued it up and got it ready for painting. I sanded it with 500 grit sandpaper so it had a pretty smooth finish when she started to paint. And here's Jennifer painting again. And as I said in previous blogs, she's not really this fast, but she is good. And somehow, in her mind, she was able to picture something to overlay what I had drawn which looked pretty horrible and transform it into something that looked very, very nice. Uh, the Christmas tree is uh, an interesting symbol and uh, if you look at our blog you'll see a little bit of the history of the Christmas tree and I've got some references that you might want to look at uh, that will explain to you what some of the symbolism is associated with the tree. Uh, this was uh, the, one of the final uh, paintings that Jennifer did and she looked at this and said well you know what there's no tree like a tree with Christmas presents and so before she got all through with this she went back and added some presents and it really turned out to be a beautiful tray puzzle and I think our grandchildren will really enjoy this.